Another day. You guys. Another goddamn drink. Oh, but they I don't stop say, coming. I was gonna say, guess what we're doing, but that's like, <laughs> obviously the title. <laughs> yeah. Um, They're like, very we know excited. bitch. I feel like it's been like months since Erwan had a new Bev. And um, it's just our thing now. It's Starbucks yes. Duncan Erwan. Yeah. Sorry, that's the just our content right now. Grail. We were just doing our podcast and I went to the bathroom and Aaron was like, were you just scrolling or how did you see it? Yes, someone had posted it and I was like, <gasps> okay, she's like, I have good news. Erwan just created or just collabed with someone to make his Oh boy, who do you it? think it is? Is it an influencer? Or a celebrity. They're very in the zeitgeist at the moment. I need a hint. You hear him the most, I would think. More Joe than Joe Rogan. <laughs> and it's Jay Shetty, which is exciting. I love potion smoothie is what it's called. Yeah, and the only thing I know about it is that it has sex dust in it, so I'm spooked. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a little I was like, it's gonna make us horny. We're gonna get horned up. It's Friday night. Woo! And- well, it's actually Friday at two ten. Was well, this one more expensive or a regular the same. price? So for both of them, it costs fifty dollars. Oh my god! With like tax, heartbreak potion. <laughs> in debt, in debt. I smoothie. will say though, when I read you the ingredients, it may take a while because it looked very long winded. I feel like you should only read things that we'll know. Well, it's like lots of flavors. It's because all of the like name brands they include, which is like so bougie and like not necessary. Like just say banana. Are you leaving? Fifteen minutes. I'll park there. I don't know. She's like looking down. I don't trust her. Oh. Yeah, she's like on her phone doing annoying. Stuff. They like, go to Pilates. Sometimes. It's literally us. <laughs> I know you're so right. <laughs> but she can at least put her lights off. Yeah. <laughs> Which we never do. Don't but. give us false hope. Let's hopefully. I don't know what I was going to say. Never mind. Okay, hopefully it, it's good. <laughs> hopefully we make it back we'll, in the car. We'll be right back. We'll be back. Okay, four hours later. Four hours later. I'll give you guys a little close up because she's and also beautiful. The top, the top looks yeah, it's delish. like a little whip or something. We might have to take the lid off and give it a Ooh, little, little lick. Looks like little nibs. Maybe we try it and you can guess what's in her again. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I feel like- Maybe the basic stuff. Well, yeah. I already know there's sex dust, so I can't guess that. <laughs> yeah, the sex dust is off the table. Um, love. Were you trying? Oh, I no, was I was like, feeling the straw. I was like, ah! Wait, I'm so it, hungry, I, I'm like hungry. Carly, literally, I can't even get the, the full- All of it? Look at it. It just keeps going. I feel like if I Google- Yeah. This. Also, it's good timing. I just downloaded his audiobook think like a monk so maybe i'll become a monk <laughs> can girls be monks i don't think so just continuing to spread misinformation yeah that's what monks. i like to do i like okay. to lie a lot cheese mm, hard to suck up oh oh whoa <laughs> i'm getting so many flavors immediately horny <laughs> strawberry i know the main one strawberries i actually don't think there are <laughs> oh there is i can definitely taste the beets i don't think i would taste beets and be like this is beets I can fully Beats taste by the gray. Something sour. Sour patch. Kids. Healthy sour patch kids. Oh my god, that scared me. What's sour? Raspberries. Mm, oh my god. That's it's like, like the, when you say it, I'm like, duh. Yeah, that's the main fruit I can taste. Yeah. Now that you say it, 100%. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Also, I'm just gonna come out with it. So Come out and say it. There's unsweetened black tea, sex dust, three ingredient oat milk. Wait, super multi mushroom blend? What's that? <laughs> We're not like getting Whoa. like, we're not micro dosing our No, it's probably not one of those mushrooms. Rain, it's literally it's called it rainbow mushrooms. Wait, Google it. I'm going to their Instagram. Stickly together to support the immune system, provides full system support, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's like a magic mushroom. Okay, maybe don't call it rainbow mushrooms Rainbow then. road. <laughs> and then it says a touch of sweetener from real fruit, whatever that means. Okay. Almond butter, strawberry, raspberries, banana, avocado, rose water, beet juice, house made strawberry glaze, and coconut pataya cream. Can you look up what sex dust is? Sure. I was like, what do they mean? <laughs> There's also mushrooms in this. <laughs> And what? The sex dust. I don't think it's, I think they would tell you. <laughs> We're just tripping balls. It literally has like rainbow mushrooms. I think it's fine. They'd need our like ID or something. This I head. also like don't think it's legal, but like what? I don't understand. Yeah, there's no way. Sex dust is a stimulating blend of adaptogens and herbs that target stress to support healthy hormonal balance, libido, and creative energy. <laughs> so basically. So it's like you're taking a Viagra. <laughs> Yeah, we're t- <laughs> Viagra at <and> Errol. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's I get think into the nitty gritty. Yeah. I think it's, like, I'll drink it. It's not bad tasting. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste or anything like the other one we tried. It's really tart. One. It's very tart. Kind of desserty too. 
All I can taste is the beet. I hate these straws. There's like already breaks in them because I chew on mm. them. I like it better than Haley Bieber's, but it probably goes like Haley Bieber this one than the rest. This is not a top. It's definitely drink not for a me. top. I don't even know my order, but this is like good. wise, like stunning. Perfect. They just keep like getting healthier tasting. <laughs> I just want them to taste like Something Hailey Bieber. I like, want an Oreo so smoothie. Good. Yeah. Someone make an Oreo smoothie. We gotta have healthy, like, sex dust Oreos or something. Make them out of the JoJo's from Trader Joe's. I don't know. Like, I just feel like you can put, like, chocolate in one of these and it can be good. You know, like, mm. chocolate protein. Like cacao. Yeah. Cacao. It tastes like plants. Oh, I don't get that. I think I just, like, don't really like beet juice. I also have, like, a weird thing with beet juice where I drank like a whole bottle of it and then it made me feel sick and I think I have like trauma from that. Oh, okay. Well, Cause sense. I like beets, but I like them in like- I like the beet. Vinegar. <laughs> it makes sense with the mushroom since he is like a former monk, mm -hmm. you know, really getting into the inner self. I don't know what else the mushrooms do. Why are there so many shrooms in here? I don't know. And can someone- We did shrooms at Erwan. Confirm or deny. We technically did. It's just confusing when you're a mushroom company and there's rainbows in it. You would think that that is like magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. That is confusing. Am I drinking magic mushrooms? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine it says it's huge. Like this is a microdose. We just missed it. Not a fave. Yeah, it's it's okay. It just tastes like fruity tart. I would like honestly be like, that's all. I would say skip it. Like don't fly to LA to come mm -hmm. get this. Go back in October for the Courtney one. <laughs> Eat. Well, you can well you can order it. That's true, but it's more fun in October. Hope that they come out with like a razzmatazz flavor in the next few <laughs> months or something. Sour strip. Yeah. It's um stunning, but the taste is average. It tastes like something you'd get after a workout. Like it's just healthy. Not anything I would ever get. Well, maybe not you, but like, ugh, it just tastes like fruit. It just tastes like beets. I like it. <laughs> Like it just like leaves like a weird, yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly where it's sitting, is my throat. Me too. My straw cracked too, I don't even bite on it. I would give this a 6 out of 10. The good news is maybe we'll get a nice little trip out of it, and then it will be worth the $50. <laughs> yeah. I know, I always think about being really post make these. Be like, fifth or like, oh my god, like 70 70 bucks. $70 for fucking two of these. You gotta do the delivery fee. I think the more I drink it, the less I like it. I'll probably finish mine, but only because I'm starving. I know. I'm like, what do I have? I have like a pop tart. I'd rather eat that. <laughs> Especially when you're tripping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's settling in my throat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I Jay, I hope your book is better than your drink. And yeah. Congrats to you. Also, it is cute. It came out on Valentine's Day. So like cute, but. Oh my God, I forgot that was so sweet. Even more reason to have made it like a chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much input these people actually have. Like, do you think everyone's like, here's the ingredients. Do you want to do this? Or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think. I wonder what that process is like. I think that they probably present them with a few ideas. They're like, this is what we're thinking for this month. Like, what do you think? What are things that you like putting in your smoothies? And then they probably are like, okay, what can we theme it after? Oh, this month's Valentine's Day. Let's put sex dust in it. <laughs> Let's make it pink. What can you Like use raspberries. Pink for? Yeah. yeah. I guess we'll find out once we get ours. Yeah. Still waiting. Yep. Give it a couple years and we'll be there. <laughs> okay. Well, we did it and it was subpar. Jay, I'm so disappointed. This, but I'll Have a this. nice day. Bye. <laughs> she keeps telling me she wants to divorce her husband, but never does it. She takes her two sons out to dinner and on family date nights with the new guy, and apparently her husband is oblivious to all of this. A month ago, she opened up to me and told me she was pregnant, but she knew it wasn't her husband's. I asked what she's going to do, and she said she doesn't know and is continuing to see her boyfriend and stay with her husband. Oh, my God. 